Hi everyone, this is Bob from mostofthebob.net and I wanted to take a little time tonight just to do an unboxing or an enveloping of the new Huarachis that I got from InvisibleShoe.com today. Uh, I'm probably going to do the later part of the video or another video or actually show putting them together. I just wanted to show, in case anybody's interested in what these things look like, I don't think I was expecting something that thin, although given the fact that they're basically just a pair of shoe soles, um, that's a, a little bit of hardware, I shouldn't have been surprised. Anyway, I've opened this already, so I kind of already know what's in here, but just in case anybody was kind of curious about what actually comes for the $29 or however much you pay plus the shipping, here it is. Okay, so I, the way I got this was uh, Priority Post, USPS, got it in about two days, so that was pretty cool. Um, Obviously, you have the, uh, I got the kit version, so it's the pre-cut, um, the pre-cut pieces of rubber. You can kind of see there's a textured, uh, textured bottom there. Yeah, you can kind of see that. And it also has the two holes pre-drilled. Um, the, the, the actual footbed is kind of a, a really finely textured rubber, um, kind of a crosshatch pattern. And uh, it's got a nice little um, invisible shoe logo right there. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, um, so there are those. Uh, there are laces that came. I ordered the red laces. I was actually kind of hoping that these would be more sort of a candy apple red or fire engine red almost. Uh, I don't know if the color kind of shows up, but these are like almost orange. So um, no matter. Uh, I can get paracord at the local Navy surplus for 25 feet for like $4 or something like that, which is really inexpensive. In another video, I want to do, uh, let me see, I uh, don't have the materials around, but um, I saw a couple things about making making your own horaches. Yeah. And uh, anyway, I want to do that because uh, my sons are interested in having a pair of these sandals as well. So. I got these just to get an idea of uh, of how they how they look. Uh, the one thing I was a little bit curious about was how thick the actual sole was. The uh, rubber mat that I'm using for the homemade horaches are uh, a little bit thinner than this, so I'm a little bit worried about the durability. The first time I tried to make my own, I was using a, a floor mat, a really cheap floor mat, like a, one of the car floor mats that you can get at any auto dealership or uh, department store, anything like that. Uh, but the rubber on those was very thin, like probably about a millimeter thick, and that didn't work out too well. Anyway, on with the unboxing. Other things in the package are an instruction sheet and the invoice, of course. Uh, the instruction sheet, basically, uh, they just tell you what what you need to know. Uh, but the, the main thing is that you need to go to invisibleshoe.com slash kit and it has all the instructions that you need for putting this all together. This was a little bit of a surprise. They actually send a hollow punch. Um, I don't know that I saw that I was going to get one of these, so I actually went out and bought one myself. But um, the one I got will be handy for the other stuff that I'm doing. And this one, uh, this one, it, it's it's kind of nice. I mean, it's 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 no real expensive piece of hardware, but it was unexpected, so that was kind of a nice surprise. What else we got? Oh, their high-tech lacing tool. What they call a high-tech lacing tool, aka, uh, if you can see it, a bobby pin. Now, I'm sure that when I start digging into the instructions, exactly how I'm supposed to use that will become a little bit more clear. I suspect what I'm probably supposed to do is put this through the hole, put the lace through it, pull it back down through the hole, but we'll see. And last but not least, a business card. Now this is kind of a cool business card. This was another thing I wasn't exactly expecting. Uh, Steven Sa uh, Sashin, uh, the fellow who runs Invisible Shoe, uh, I guess puts a business card with all the shoes that he sends out. And I don't know if you, know, you can see it, but the, 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 the card is translucent plastic, which I think is kind of cool. Um, anyway, that's it. Uh, there's not a lot to it, but they don't call them minimalist shoes for nothing. And I am looking forward to uh, putting them together and seeing how they feel. 
Uh, I think I'm probably going to do that in a later part of the video because I know that uh, the boys want to help me. So anyway, I guess I will see you in the next part.